Victor Emmanuel III. This man was only about five foot tall, yet he was the king of Albania, king of Italy, emperor of Ethiopia. His nicknames were the Little Saber and the Soldier King, and he was a little crazy during both world wars. This is the crazily interesting story of Victor Emmanuel III. Born in Naples, Italy on November 11, 1869 to the future king of Italy, Umberto I, and the pizza queen, I mean, Queen Margarita, his dad became king on January 9, 1878. Victor had a military education, but when his dad was assassinated on June 29, 1900, he became king. He became a constitutional monarch and had a liberal cabinet. Under his rule, Italy fought the 1911 Italo-Turkish War in which they gained Libya as a colony. Italy entered World War I on the side of the Allies, in which Italy grew from the former Austrian-Hungarian territories. I want to point out the fact that Italy was promised more land, and they didn't receive it. This is called La Victoria Mutolada, or the Mutilated Victory. Also, under the leadership of King Victor Emmanuel III, they entered the Allies during World War I. What makes Victor Emmanuel III so controversial is his connections with Mussolini, yes, the Italian fascist dictator, especially the March on Rome, where Mussolini's forces marched on Rome to try and install Mussolini to be the Italian Prime Minister. The king was given an order to sign, and if he did, the army would fire on the crowd marching to Rome. But instead, he did not, and made Mussolini Prime Minister. STOP! So, the first conclusion from this, and me telling you that he made Mussolini Prime Minister, is to believe that the king liked Mussolini. But, we have to dig a little deeper. You see, Mussolini had his own army, like any army, they were capable of fighting, so the king didn't want a civil war to erupt across Italy, with Mussolini's forces fighting against Italian forces and all other factions that would have destroyed the country completely. Also, we can look at what Mussolini did to the king. Mussolini took a lot of the constitutional power away from the king, so why would Victor like Mussolini? Precisely. When the Allies took control of Sicily, though, Victor Emmanuel arrested Mussolini, like had him put in prison and removed from being prime minister. Then he put Marshal Petro Bagrogoli as prime minister. One more thing, in Italy, Mussolini is not seen as the worst guy ever because by the time Mussolini became prime minister, Italy was crippling poor and people were starving and he was able to restart the economy. I don't like him, he was a very bad guy. And I'm not saying he was a perfect person, it's just that's how he's seen in Italy. In 1935, Italy annexed Ethiopia, making Victor the Ethiopian Emperor. In 1939, Italy annexed Albania, which made Victor the King of Albania. After Mussolini was gone and World War II ending, Victor made his son Umberto II regent in 1944. Well, his official title was Lieutenant General of the Realm. On May 9, 1946, he abdicated in favor of Umberto II, his son, shockingly because he was not that popular. His son became king after a questionable plebiscite or referendum, Umberto II lost his throne, only being king for about a month. Victor died in Alexandria, Egypt on December 28, 1947. Thank you guys, I hope you liked this video, found it interesting, please hit that like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video you're about to click on the screen.